Hello there guys, welcome to my channel Dream to Animate. I hope you like my previous video. Today I made a short video on library. This will be very short video so watch this video till end. If you are new to my channel then please subscribe my channel because here you will learn all about Adobe Flash or Adobe Animate CC. And press the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so that you will get notified when I post any video. Move on to the video, let's get started. Everyone knows what is library. Library is a place where a lot of books were stored. So what is library in Animate CC or Adobe Flash? Very simple. Here library is a place where all the objects were stored. The objects we used on our animation is stored on library. Now the question is where you will find the library? It is on the right side of the software. Beside properties panel you can see library. Just click on it and it will open a blank panel. This is blank because I have not drawn or import any object in this document. When you draw something for example, I am drawing a rectangle. Click on the rectangle tool. Click and drag to draw a rectangle of any size. But the panel is still blank. You will be thinking why it is still blank. I have drawn a rectangle here. Then why it did not show up on the library panel? It is because the rectangle is not an object. It is combination of stroke lines and field color. To make it object I have to make it symbol and give it a name. Now you might be thinking what is symbol? So I will talk about symbol in my next videos. For now I am making it symbol. Give it a name black rectangle. And now you can see it on the library panel. Every symbol you make will store here. From library you can change the name of the object or you can delete the unnecessary object to free up the space and reduce the file size. To rename the object just double click on it and you will see the text box appeared. Give it a name. I am changing it to make the name shorter. BLK underscore RCTNGL and it changed. To delete this object from library, select the object and press the delete button of your keyboard and it deleted. You can also delete this by clicking on the delete button here. On the left side you will see properties. If you click on that then this box will pop up. I will explain this on the symbol video so for now I cancel this. Next is new folder. You can place a couple of objects into a folder so that it will stay in order and organized. Next is new symbol. You can create new symbol from here. I also explain this on my next video. You will get the same option if you select the object and right click on it. You know cut, copy, paste, rename and delete. But next option is duplicate. This option will help you to make same object with different name. If I click here, you can see this box and it has a name with the suffix copy. You can change it if you want. I'm giving it blk underscore rctngl underscore 2 and click OK. See there is two symbols now. These two symbols are same object with different name. This option is very helpful for your project. Now move to option will move your object to any folder. Next edit. I will explain it on the next video. Properties I have already told about it. And these three options are not very useful so I skip this. 
The upper box is display box. You can see the shape of the object here. Because it is a black rectangle, so you can see it as a small icon of black rectangle. If I draw a blue circle on the stage with oval tool and make it symbol, give it a name blue underscore circle, click OK and you can see here a small icon of the blue circle. One more very useful option is select unused item. Either you can right click on the blank space here and you will see the select unused item or you can go to here and click on it. From here you can see select unused item. By the name you can understand what this option does. It will select the unused object. For example, I am deleting the blue circle symbol from the stage. It will delete but the object stays in the library. This makes your file heavy and it can make your software slow. When you work on big project, it is a very good habit to clean it up. So just click on the file, select unused items and it will select all the unused item. Here it select two items. These are not used on my file. So what I will do is just delete these objects from library by clicking delete button or the delete icon at the bottom of the library panel. This is all about the library panel. Hope this information will help you. Remember one more thing, library can't store more than one object with same name. You have to change one of their name to store both of the objects. This is all for now. If you like the video then please thumbs up and if you have any question about library panel feel free to comment below. I will answer as soon as I can. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. This is Krishna and I am signing out. See you later.